Hey guys, Hello. welcome here. Welcome here, welcome there. We're back, it's us, the guys who talk about things and talk about other things. And we talk about some other things outside of those other things. Yes, but today we're talking about this thing. Shouldn't you be echoing what I fucking said, not just yes. saying the word echo? Uh, we want to talk about echo today. <laughs> <laughs> we're, talk say. we're talking about an echo. I'm not gonna put it with that every fucking time. <laughs> I want you to do that now. Yes. So yeah, Echo came out this it, past it's week. It's actually, I gotta say, it's of the, it's definitely of the better Marvel shows. Yeah, 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 yeah. I uh, honestly, honest, honest opinion, I'd give it a solid. Um, I'm gonna give it a solid six. I'm gonna give it a solid six. It was. I'm gonna give it a seven. Give it a seven. I, I was gonna say I give it a seven. The, the action's the action is actually pretty good. I love the fact that they're using like native and indigenous actors they're not just using like oh yeah they're not just using tan actors they're not using yeah. tan people uh i mean like I, I was actually recognizing a lot of those actors from the show uh from the show reservoir dogs you reservoir see dogs. yeah you see a bunch of them it, like and i mean these are guys that you've also got uh graham green who's been in, he always plays the indian guy in just about everything he's he's absolutely hilarious uh yeah, he's one of my favorite character. Uh, the guy, uh, Scully, right? Yeah, Gary Scully. Green? Yeah, Scully. Oh, he's, he was hilarious. He's my favorite. He's definitely yeah. among, among my favorite. Him and Biscuits. Mm. Biscuits is funny. Uh, so the premise is. Uh, I also no, sorry before we move on. I also appreciate that they're using like uh, what's her name? Uh, a, 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 pardon me if I'm saying Alakwa? this. Alakwa. 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 We're, we're sorry. Sorry for butchering the name. Uh, <laughs> But the fact that she is actually, she's a, para, not paraplegic, uh, she's an amputee and actually deaf in real life. So, I mean, like, that's, the fact that they're taking that effort, all the cast, they're not just learning the dialogue for the show, they actually took the time to learn ASL to communicate and make things easier and better for her on set. So, moving on with the, because the first episode is more or less just a recap of what you see in Hawkeye. Mm -hmm. And, and like some of her backstory as well. Her, yeah, her backstory, the in between that leads up to why is she doing what she is doing. That crash scene was fucking dude nuts. That's some superhero origin so shit. I've nuts. fucking seen it. You just and it's graphic for a not not just a Marvel movie but a Disney Marvel movie. Yeah, it's, it's graphic. It's, yeah, you see the you see the glass through her through her shin. Like they were not only ones that but just like mature content. Yeah. And, and they didn't, it they didn't the necessarily video. post it on every episode. Some of those no. episodes were like, oh, wow. They're just showing it. Oh, yeah. Who got fucked up? There's there's a lot of there's a lot of blood. Yeah. A lot of blood. She is definitely kicking ass and taking names. We are, we are sure. taking ass and, and taking fucking lives. Yes. My guy. Taking is, all of the lives. She is not messing. My Lopez is not messing around. Hell no. Uh... And just the general backs, like the background that you're getting on, like Choctaw Indians and indigenous people in general. Like, now, yes, some of it is obviously for the show, but mm -hmm. you're still seeing you're seeing periodical things that, like, of what maybe not what they did, but it's just it's a glimpse. It's it's can, it can only ever be a glimpse, but yeah, they're very they're tasteful they're, in their execution. They're not being what I, it's what I can see. Yeah, tasteful is the word I'm looking for. They're not being. They're not being stereotypical. Or it's all really either. exactly. It's just you're. They felt really. They felt natural. You're getting to see the quote unquote ancestors. Yeah. So this, this is, these are modern day people. This yeah. Too. Um, as far as like the, the overall plot, um, about Maya after the events of Hawkeye, goes back to her home to her hometown of Tama, Oklahoma. After shooting Wilson Fisk. After shooting in Wilson Fisk in the face. Not necessarily the eye, but Totally he's dead, dead, dude. He, he totally, he he totally been, he fucking been died, dead. He should've been dead. Nah, fuck that. No, you can't kill Kingpin. He can't, can't kill he's, got, he's got a vibranium skull. He, you can't kill him. He, um, uh, he, he hit the gum gum from him and bounced it off his fucking face. Clearly. Clearly. Read a comic book. Uh, but, uh... The gum gum. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, so Maya goes back to her hometown and runs to her strange family who's been in 20 years to the events of the back. Is that a real place? Because I mean, I know, I know Oklahoma. A good portion of it is Indian reservations and things like that. You've got 
In certain areas, you, up, got like the, you got like the Shawnee Indians. I must know the jury hour. So uh, she goes back to her hometown, meets with a strange family once again. It's been 20 years since she's ever been to the flash of the backstory where her mom died and her dad, who worked for Kingpin, moved back to New York and she was raised by him and the Kingpin and basically grew up in the world of crime, but a real like mob's daughter style. And then you see her go back to her hometown and try to reconnect with the people that she's lost for so Wait, long. Wait, is she in Wisconsin or in Oklahoma? It's Oklahoma. It is Oklahoma, okay. I'm not Oklahoma. They're in Wisconsin, be a very different vibe. Yeah. Actually, I'm sorry. Cheese. I was looking at the map. It, it was finishing up the typing. It's Tom, it was Tomahawk, Wisconsin. There is actually a, a Tomaha, Oklahoma, which is pretty awesome that they're setting it in a legitimate, Please like, real. Uh, but, um, oh no, theatrically they shot them in Georgia. Okay, of course. Yeah. Uh, that's, yeah. that's why you actually get to see some like plains and, and hills and hills and things like that because mm -hmm. Oklahoma is a flat square. Oklahoma's well, pretty flat. Yeah. There are some. Uh, Oklahoma the frying pan. Yeah. Uh, Oklahoma is the frying Yeah. The frying pan. pan. The big old frying pan. Right above Texas. Um, right above our home state. But she, she, um, she wants to try to use her new powers. And uh, she uh, battles the kingpin and saves the day. Um, yeah, no. That it's, classic, typical. It's a really first. If it were a movie, it'd just be our origin story, and I think it's, sure. it's, it's really good. It'd be, really a, well it'd be a nice little hour and a half to two hour origin story. Yeah. Obviously, with a show, they can extend it out a little bit longer, mm -hmm. and you get a little more depth with the characters. You get to see like it's not just a girl avenging her father. It's lot, it's girl of... it's girl reconnecting with her, with her roots, and you're getting to see that like, especially the echo through, as the as the grandma says it like through I forget echoes the hand, through you. I forget echo, the hand signal, but generations generations, like, and yeah, just the connection that and that's because I mean that's so I don't it, know too the, much the, about the way her power works that she's like calling on past lives or is it's it, not like, even that she, like with her family it's not even that she's calling on past lives it's it's literally her. Her bloodline, her ancestors, are all these people falling back to the first Choctaw Indian. That is so or, are they Choc? Yeah, Choctaw. I think is what, the, what their what their uh, tribe was. Choctaw, yes. Uh, yeah. So from Chaffa, the first one, which I like, I haven't. They're not crediting her, even though they've used that image and her face many, many times for the show. But I'm so certain that it's either the girl that plays. Emily or Leah Clearwater on Twilight. Mm. But I don't believe they actually, I don't believe they actually, I don't believe they cast, or they're not showing a credit for anyone named Chaffa, which that was what she has referenced at in multiple, uh, multiple times throughout the show as the first Choc, the first Choctaw in the movie. Uh, just, if you're lying, you just search through the codes. No, I mean, not like search through, like literally a search bar. Like go to the top. Go to the top. There should be a search bar within the forecast. Maybe it's just on that. I have no idea. Anyway, moving but on. But either way, I'm, I'm a pretty good, I have a pretty good uh, recall for faces and actors. That's the only time I have a good recall for those things. Uh, for faces, I mean. Uh, I'm 90% sure that that's her, and I just, I, like I said, it goes back to just loving the, like, you're seeing all these different, like, people that have, do have careers and they're actually getting their spot to shine. Continue. Can, can we talk about the choreography? Dude. Holy fucking shit! That is some, it is. Oh no, my god, I'm, I'm so excited for Daredevil. I'm sure, I'm sure that there are people that are better at watching choreography than we are. We're just a bunch of nerds. No, that but, shit was clean. But it looked to the blind eye, to the un to the to the unfamiliar eye, that choreography looks clean as shit. That was some really I'm, good combat scripts. I'm i I'm sure that there are probably some parts where you clearly catch them just walking through it more than actually going full like full pace it is it is all staged but it's it's, it's, but it staged, looks really yeah. fucking it's choreography good. for cho it's choreography no it's gonna it's gonna look staged no one's gonna get but so it's, it's moving so quickly that you don't even notice any like the, if there are any faux pas you don't even notice they they train the fake they, they fucking they, those scenes are fucking perfect yeah those guys would must have worked hours on that stuff because it is so clean they're clearly using some of the choreographers from previous marvel from, yeah. I hope that the, I'm sh from the looks of it, all the different aerial stuff that they're doing, it looks like they're using a lot of the some of the choreographers from Daredevil as well. Mm -hmm. Like 
there's just too much acrobatics that look like daredevil acrobatics uh, to not be. I did not know I needed this in my life, but watching that guy get fucking suplexed into a pinball machine Dude, yes. made my fucking day. That was, so, <laughs> that, was that, that whole that whole fight. The fight in the roller ring is insane. Where like where they're about to where they're about to do whatever they're gonna do, and then the lights go out, you start hearing Rob Zombie. Like Rob Zombie in Disney is not something that I would ever think I'd be saying in a sentence ever. Yeah. You hear Rob Zombie in a Disney show. I don't give a fuck that it's Marvel. It's still Disney. Yeah. That is wild. But the way that that scene just goes down, the me the lights cut out, the music kicks on, and what's his name? Also from Twilight, Chasky. Or shout out, or uh, shout out to Chasky Spencer. He's just he just a big smile shoots across his face. He's like, oh, the breakers in the laser tag room. And they're like, turn the laser tag room, and they try and get Maya. <laughs> and then they get to the thing, and it just blows the shit out of the window. He knew it, he laughed like he knew it was gonna happen. Yeah. Ha ha ha. He's like, fuck you. <laughs> like, he, either he had the place rigged, or she had the place. She took quick time. Someone, like, she oh, could, she took happen. quick time to rig it. I know what's happening. The guy's like, oh, I know what's happening. I was like, hey, it's in the break room. But that show, it. I'm gonna go. I'm, now, I have not finished the full show. I've only watched four of the five episodes, so I'm gonna go finish that tonight. But so you can but you can answer this. Yes. Does it lead into any other projects or is it more kind of a standalone thing? Just so, a, just a purely just an origin story. So uh, it, it's it's yeah. it's it's introducing Echo as who she's going to be going forward. It's a good origin story for the character and what she's saying and what was coming in for. Okay. The main thing it really sets up is what this whole thing is really not really for, but like what we're looking up to is the next season of Daredevil that Disney's doing. For sure. Disney's doing oh, Daredevil. I'm, I'm sure she'll definitely and have a part. And that's why King that. Penguin has a big role in this. It's setting up what his next goal, his next goal, what his next step is going to be. Okay. What he's going to be up to next. I don't get too much away. Fair enough. It's yeah, fun. Yeah. I'm excited. Um, New York's gonna become a very interesting place. If I had one hope for Daredevil, is that we see we're in fucking New York. I don't care how much you have to pay Sony. This gets he Spider Man is doing nothing with nobody. I don't think it's a matter of how much to pay Sony anymore. I think it's just like hey, it's like come on, y'all, y'all want to make money, Sony? Do you, you want to make, make money? Want to make more money? I don't, you don't even have to sell the character anymore. Just no. let them do what they're gonna do best. It's gonna make you money. <laughs> they're gonna make you money. A fuck ton of money. So that you can stop putting out things like Morbius. You can stop putting out things like, well granted we haven't seen it and it does look dope as fuck with Craven the Hunter. Mm. I'm willing to give, I'm willing to give, what's it called, Madam Web a fair shake. Yeah, it is yeah. Spider-Man property and they haven't done too piss poor on, on that so far. Spidey and Daredevil was like but Spidey classic, and Daredevil was yeah, classic. That's, that's the bread and butter. And hopefully they start Spider-Man. bringing back um, and Punisher Marvel. too, and, and Electra. We'll start seeing more of these uh, characters that we haven't seen in a very long time. And, Do you think uh, we'll see John Bernthal's Punisher in Marvel? Yeah, I'm sure Punisher will, if, we, if not referenced, will make an appearance in now a small one. New York is a New York do you is a very will, small place. But do you think it will be John Bernthal? Because they. They've seen pretty, as far as bringing over those characters go, Charlie Cox and and uh, Vincent D'Onofrio, mm-hmm. they're so far the only ones. We've not seen... Or heard. Or at least, yeah. We've gotten reference to a few of them, but yeah. they're the only ones we've actually we seen or heard about. No, know yet. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, I definitely, I, granted, I, again, I haven't seen the finale, but I definitely, I have a big feeling we're going to see her in Daredevil. So oh, 100%. I'm, I'm curious because you know, the glowing hands thing, like, I get it. It's the ancestors. It's the power. Like, it's the power of the, or power f- from, it's the power, like, the generational power. It's a fucking cosmic shit. But I'm just, I'm wondering if it has any, uh, any correlation or any connection to, like, Iron Fist, whose hands, whose hands... N- notoriously and historically blue. Mm-hmm. And he co- and he got his training from not necessarily indigenous people, like indig- indigenous tribes, but, Americans, yeah. but he uh the natives. I forget where, no, where does he go for he goes training? to uh he goes to Tibet. Tibet, there you go. 
But it's of a it's of a tribal sense in its own. Like yeah, much the, like the monastery. The t- yeah, yeah, the Tibetan monastery. They are. It's a grouping of people that he learned from. That he their uh, historical power in, in its own right. Uh, but they don't show any type of like connection. No, no, nothing yet. We haven't seen any. Because I think the most, the most, the, the most like if you like do theory threads, they talk about dragons at yeah. the beginning. Which that would have still, but that could also be that could still be Shang-Chi. Like, like, a dragon Shang-Chi too. It's like dragons really you have to you have to go to the other world. It's like oh wow. It's like I was like ha. Yeah. But uh, yeah, uh, seven out of ten. It's definitely, definitely a seven out of ten. The, the story was good. It it moved at a good pace. The the choreography was stellar. Yeah. Y'all have a great night, day, whatever time of day y'all might be watching this.